Hi Aberries, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at my family house and yesterday was Olive's birthday but I got so many comments yesterday asking me how I made this bouncy castle so I thought today I was actually going to be uploading a different video today but because I had so many comments asking how to make it I felt like I can't not show you guys. I have to show you. It's actually very simple. It's not, it's not particularly difficult so come with me into build mode. Okay so let me make some space so I can basically build it again. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get the walls and then you're just going to go around like this. And I think this one has three space in between. So one, two, three, and then put another wall here. Oops. Another wall here. There's two in between this part. Now you don't have to do this exactly the same, obviously, but I'm just trying to recreate the one that I did before. And I'm going to put the roofs on just so you can see what it looks like anyway. I think the one I chose was almost the most pointy. So this one that and then you're gonna get fences and I think it's like a small fence like this and you're gonna join it up at all the places on the outside right now it should be looking like this and then you have to put tables in between so this part is actually really annoying to do like it's just just to try and fit everything together it's annoying so I'll do it like this Put the tables together till it completely fills, fills the inside. There we go. And then on the outside, this part, this part is just these, these side table things. Because it always has like a little step, like a little bouncy step before. So I put these around the outside. Oh my gosh, these little things are expensive just for that. I didn't realize how expensive these little, like, because they're so small. Okay, now I should be looking something like this. And now I have to do is color it in. So let me get the colors. So I did the purples around this this side and oh not on there. The fences were pink. Carnation pink for the roofs and the fences. Okay, so now for the middle part. So I was just gonna originally have the it all like one color. So like pink. What I would want to do is I wanted to do it like this and then have, I don't know, purple as as one part, but then it just wasn't matching up, right? And it started making this and it's like going all wiggly like that which is why i end up putting something on top like that do you know what I mean because it does that and it also looks really flat so the reason why i put things on top of it is because i felt like it just looked too flat it looked too shiny i guess you could try and change the texture of it but even still i feel like it just looks flat and this makes it look like it's you know it's got a bit of cushion there so to do that i used stacked towels and this is actually kind of expensive at the beginning it wasn't and then i started seeing the money chunking down so this is the part that is the most expensive everything else isn't really expensive but if you want to do this, after a while, you just start realizing, wow, this is this is adding up. So right, right to the edge. And make sure it all lines up together. Okay, so now we've got that. See, as you can see, it's like textured. It's not just completely flat. Okay, now to color it in. I made it so it was two at a time. So pink, then purple, then pink, then purple. So let's copy that here. Now the last thing to do is add in your decals. So we're going to put in some posters on the side of Bouncy Castle. So put two here and as you can see it comes off a little bit at the side and to counter that I put some pillars there right so it's not so much off the edge so you don't have to do this. You don't even have to have decals at the side of it but I just got some plain ones because it lines up perfectly and then put it the side like this. And then made sure it was the same color as the rest. Okay, so this is how it should be looking out here. Very, basically, well, it is. It's a, oh, wait, I didn't put any on this part too. You do put the towels on the bottom part there as well. Um, but I forgot to do that, but yeah. Add those in there. And as for the, oh, this is, this is a bit glitchy there, but it's all right. 
Also, as you can see, I didn't do it so neat. So now it's got this part coming in. I was rushing this a bit. Um, I wasn't as patient as when I was first doing it, but you guys will be better at, at doing that than me. So I started looking for stuff. I don't know, things that would go with it. I was actually looking for like princesses. I wanted to find a fairy princess, but I couldn't find any. And those of these were coming up and I thought they're cute. Okay, so this is nice because the PNG, so it goes with the background. So as long as you color the poster, it will be the exact same color as the background here. So I colored the poster, um, and match it to the same color so now it just kind of looks like it blends in and it's actually on there um so let's try and another one on this side so it has no background so it blends in better and that's that and there's your bouncy castle that's doing that ignore that but yeah there we go and someone asked me how do i make it bounce um it doesn't actually bounce unfortunately i wish it did it's just that everyone looked like everyone was very good at role playing um on the bouncy castle but yeah that is how you make it but Obviously, you don't have to have the same colours. You guys can be creative with it and you can change things up. When I was looking online at them, because I was I was basing it on one that I saw on Google. But obviously, you guys can change it to whatever you want. Any colours you want. Any kind of scheme you want. And actually, um, this is one style of it. But I wanted to see another style. So, some of them have like roofs on top of them. So, I want to see how we can do that. So, let me get rid of these. And then, we can get rid of the... No, we can keep the fence on this side. But, we can change the fence here. And we could probably get rid of these. Right. And then we'll just put walls there instead. Like this. Or we could get rid of the... Oh, no. I suppose we don't have to. So you can put the walls there. That's peeking through. That's okay. And it'll be like one of the bouncy castles that actually has walls around the side. So let's see this. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I mean, they probably bumped their heads on this, I reckon. But still. Pretty cool. But it's just so high. Try this one out. I see that looks pretty nice. And then you could have the colours like it's all make that pink. You like that. And then that's the way you could have it. And I also saw ones where you could have slides. So that would be really cool. If you could make a side that had slides and go down uh one way like that. Let's change the colour of these. I want to see if we like we can go for like a different kind of scheme. I see ones that are like yellow. Okay, so this is a different version now. So this is like one of the roof that's glitching out of, out of control. Ignore that. I did rush it. Oh, so this is the one that has like a ceiling part, which is good. And I'm sure you'd actually bump your head on this one. Oh my gosh, you can barely jump. Maybe you do have to be a kid, to be honest. Maybe I'm just too old for this one, you know? <laughs> this is for the young ones. But still, I think it looks pretty cool. And we'll change the decals here. Let me think. The one on the one I'm looking at has angry birds. Oh, there you go. Some angry birds. That's pretty much how you do it. But there is one thing I want to test out before I leave. I want to see if I can do the slide things I was talking before. Because there is one bouncy castle I'm looking at. Oh, by the way, I keep saying bouncy castle. I know in different countries it's called different things. As you saw yesterday, someone said that in Australia it's called, I think they said jumpy castle. Jumpy house, jumpy castle, jumping castle. I don't know. I think it's called different things in different places. But right, let's get rid of the roof here. And let's add on the little triangle roofs again let's delete these two i think we'll keep this wall because this is how you're going to get onto the slides maybe oh some of them have like the kind of fences let me see if i can get this the fences are like this i guess like to stop people that's a good idea too like that oh they're cool that'd be a good idea as well if you just didn't want to be what like one like that would be cool Ooh. Okay, so what I could do with this is I can put some stairs, or I can put a ladder up. So the kids will go up a ladder, and then I'll make something for them to, like, stand on first. Okay, then we can put some two slides down, or we could just put one big slide down. But we could, oh my gosh, it's actually really big. Oops. I didn't know it was going to be this big. Stairs are huge. They're massive. This is going to look massive. Oops. Oh, no, no, that's, that was a big one. What kind of one was that? Was the, oh, it was a long one. No wonder. It looked huge. Like that. Okay, and then now the cool thing is that you can actually put fences on the side of these now to make it look like a slide. It'd be nice if that would properly join up, but that's fine. And then like that, and then we can make the colour of this maybe yellow. Okay, so this is it. Here it is in the garden. So this is the bouncy part here. You come on here, the kids will bounce on this. Oops, so this is supposed to be yellow, ignore that. But you bounce on that and then they can go up a slide and uh, we'll kind of walk down it because you can't exactly slide down it. But still, I think it looks cool, okay? I think it looks like a big massive one and you could probably do so many creative things with this yeah that's basically it this olives one over there this is the one i just made just now just to see if i could make something different and yeah 
But yeah, I hope you guys like this. I thought I would show you it since I had so many comments asking me how did I make it and they were kind of disappointed that I didn't do a speed build of it. But um, I thought... I thought it was kind of simple, but I guess in some ways it might not look it. You might have not known what this is here. Um, but yeah, it's not too tough to make, but it does cost quite a little bit of money for the towels, weirdly enough. Um, but you, you can always skip that part if you don't want that. But yeah, I hope you guys liked that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!